Hello and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia with me, Matthew Caddis, aka Puggy. So today we are going to um, head towards the Dark Rift. And this will take us quite a while to get there. Because it's actually quite far away from Esperanza. Though we will run into a bunch of new enemies here, so let's start with these ones. So what are they going to do? Um, so we have an Ishizu. It was apparently uh, not got a brother called uh, Marik. So yeah. Um, likewise, you you can actually exterminate all of these enemies by just using a Lambda Burst. It's just that I don't have enough SP to do it. So yeah. And let's see what status ailments they inflict. Sleep, which is very annoying indeed. So um, yeah, maybe someone should wake them up. The annoying thing about these enemies also, well, maybe not the Ishizus, I'm not sure, but, um, oh yeah, it was the Ishizus. The other ones are called Surat, the ones that put you to sleep. But, uh, the annoying thing about the Ishizus, uh, like many of these annoying flying enemies that we have seen thus far, they can summon their allies and will not hesitate to do so. As can the Surat, it seems, so yeah. I do not like these guys, if you can't tell! So, um, let's see. What can I do? Well, that missed! So I say, let's use a Lambda Burst, and, um, I guess Pyrus? I've not yet learned Pyrum. I have learned Electrum, however, with, um, um, there, so let's see. Let's see if um, um, I can. will use. Um, I guess. Uh, Lambda Storm. Hopefully, do some damage to these annoying birds. Although, having said that, I think Cubal can now hold its own thanks to all of those um, charms we've been feeding it. It's just a shame that Fina goes to sleep after she attacks, which is really annoying, seriously. Look at that, Lambda Burst almost incinerated all of them. So, with that said, let us continue. Oh, nice sword skills there, Enrique. I'm guessing, um... Um... You're a very good fencer. Anyway, that being said, let's go on. Well, to be fair, Enrique does have some pretty good attacks. Anyway, that being said, um, let's see. So, we have to go quite the roundabout way in order to get to the Dark Rift because we have to go through the um, Ice Continent in order to do so. Seriously. And that is easy. And sometimes you will come up across this giant foggy wall, which is very annoying. This whole thing around here is the whole Dark Rift. The entrance, however, is very small indeed. So yeah, so where we want to go is around the um, southwest of the map, which is not easy at all. So we've now found the Lands of Ice, another uh, discovery, um, which I guess is good. That's definitely one of the things we can, can put down on our, on our Adventurer's Guild list. I don't know how much it would, it would give us for that, but never mind. And now we will have to face some penguins. Oh yes. And apparently, um, I don't know if they were watching a bit of Mary Poppins because these um, penguins make tap dancing noises. Yeah. I don't know why that is because they're not tap dancing. No. Oh. But there you go. So let's see. Do I want to use? Um Spell on them, I'm not sure. I may want to heal up. But I do, however, want to give, um... I am um, not I get Fina the, um, thing, because her pupil, although it's more powered up than it was, still does some, uh, thing. These penguins, the Killites, are very, very quick indeed. They will jump in the air and dive bomb your party, which is not fun at all. Thankfully, Vice and Co. Um, are more than able to take these guys down, I think. So let's see. There we go. Nice one, Vice. Do 
Who's next? Well, Enrique, I mean, easily is our head we need. Who do you, um, do that, you stupid bird? And again, they can call for their allies as well, which is not great. Why do I have the most annoying thing with penguins in video games? Seriously. That and maybe bats as well. Seriously. Oh, do I have the worst look with penguins? A rain of swords, because I want to finish these guys off as quickly as possible, so I can actually get to the other side and actually do something there. And apparently we have a looper enemy as well. Not that it matters, I'm mostly going for the uh, penguins, they're the most annoying things, not the looper. So, um, why not? Um, made of swords, although I think I um, killed off most of them. So, now let us continue. Again, this will be a very short episode because of the, how absolutely huge the Dark Rift inside is. Seriously. There's also an optional boss here in the Lands of Ice, but I'll get to that, which I do actually fight. It's another shit battle. Yes, seriously, another shit battle, but I'm not going to do that now. So now let's see, let's go to the south, um, over here, and we will actually find the Aurora Borealis! Yes. Um, not isolated entirely within um, Seymour Skinner's kitchen. So now I want to turn around to the west, I think. Yes. And then uh, carefully make my way that way. Unfortunately, I did have to look this up because, as I say, long journey over to the thing. So, yeah. And now let us continue. And we are moving away from the things and headed towards the east, apparently, the northeast. So, yeah, or maybe more to the east now. Um, so yeah, it is quite a long journey. And through this sky rift, again, it is only the really foggy things that are surrounding it that's, that really pisses me off here. And let's see, we have that, we have the lands of ice there, so we want to move away from them, as I say. Oh, well, you know, another battle. Yeah, we got another of those. Okay, so we have some anglerfish. Oh boy. Maybe Lord Wu Fak Fak's empire does stretch longer than we think. Anyway, I also want to use a saccharine crystal here as well. Yes, yeah, seriously. And the anglerfish are. Unsurprisingly immune to the thing. These, I believe, they're the same birds as before. But let's see, they use quicker, which is not good on those anglerfish. Seriously. So I probably want to finish them off as quickly as possible. As well as them using Slipara, of course. We want to put the whole party to sleep. Yeah, that's fun. I believe they also know either Drillin or Drillnose. Which, of course, lowers your attack! Yes. As if that wasn't annoying when I was fighting Rupee Lasso earlier. Yeah, uh, but never mind. <laughs> Drog up. Really? You can't give a decent name to a thing? I don't know. But anyway, what the anglerfish enemies can do is actually also inflict fatigue on you. Which is not great at all. And with the added speed, thanks to the birds, um, yeah. Okay, maybe I want to use the uh, Rain of Swords here. I have enough SP to do so. Um, maybe Alpha Storm, I don't know. I don't like Alpha Storm. That only works on one enemy. So, more Ishizu. So I was right! They are called Ishizu! They are the same birds, should I say. Yes. So down. You can take some damage! And who's next? Windless! Yeah, a really powerful wind spell! If only I got that with Fina, that would be awesome. 
It doesn't do that much damage though. Oh well. But yeah. You're just gonna spam it, aren't you, you son of a fat fuck? Seriously. When, when, which, when is it, um, Vice's turn again? Because I really want him to have a go! Instead of just spray your snot on me, you stupid fishies. Okay, so, the birds are down, although that still doesn't negate the problem that they're still on quicker for now. So, yeah. Okay, fire don't do much, but never mind. Uh, Cutlass Fury, no, I probably want to use Lambda Burst. And you heal up their um, thing with a Sacrum Crystal. And that'll do it. Okay, so Sacrum Crystal, heal up the party. And then um, let's indeed make our way onwards. If we can. I think we can, so. Um, attack! Down goes the, the son of a fact fact and eerie whale. That's annoying. Let's see what uh, that inflicts on us. Nothing! Absolutely nothing. I guess it missed. Did that a giant fishy. Anyway, lambda burst and not bad. Not great though. So I might want to use um, Cutlass Fury after all. Maybe Royal Blade, I don't know. So, he uses another Eerie Whale. Is he going to uh, give us any statuses that I can talk about? Or am I just stuck here, just repeating myself ad nauseum? Let's see. Nope, Cutlass Fury did it in. Very nice. So, yeah. Then. Oh, double rank ups. And the both learned Electrum. Very nice. So now, let's see. Well, let's see. Um, there is a black hole. And that is the entrance to the Dark Rift proper. So yeah, we've been going around it, but we are now actually going into the Dark Rift. Um, we kind of have to just stop the uh, thing. Indeed we must. Yeah, well maybe we could get a puke buggy for you, Enrique. Well anyway, this is the inside of the Dark Rift. Kind of ominous. There's also a save point which I will save here and we will go through the Dark Rift in the next episode. So I will see you then. Goodbye!